This video is sponsored by Train World, America's discount model train store since 1968. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today we're designing and 3D printing an in-scale oil and tire center. Welcome back everybody. First of all, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you are eligible for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I am less than 700 subscribers away from that point, so you'll definitely want to be subscribed for that. It's sponsored by Train World. Those guys were awesome enough to give me a couple prizes to give away in HO and in scale, so you want to be subscribed for that. You can check out the rules and prizes right up here as well as in the description below. A couple quick notes. I have started a Facebook page for this YouTube channel. You can go ahead and check that out in a link below. Below, and I'm going to be doing some contests over there and some giveaways so you'll definitely want to go ahead and go over there and check out that page okay so quick thing uh, building number seven final building of the first series of buildings I've designed that is going up on sale and we'll talk about that later in the episode but let's talk about the main thing we're doing today which is 3d printing a modern oil and tire center now we did a poll a few months ago and we've designed a fast food restaurant, we've designed a modern gas station, and now we're designing the oil and tire center all as part of the series from that poll. So let's go ahead and get started on the process because we're doing a few things differently than we've done in the past. So let's go ahead and get started. I begin the process as I always do by going to Google and doing a little bit of research to get a general idea of what I want this to look like. I then hop into Tinkercad and I start by getting a few cubes and stretching them to size. I size everything out based on my research of single floors and basic height. I wanted this to be a little bit taller than one story since most shops are. I then cut out the entrances for the three work bays as well as the door to the office. Next I go ahead and size out the base. Then I design all the frames for the bay entrances and the doors and windows. I then import my brick template and stretch it out a little bit to look more like concrete blocks, which is what a lot of tire centers are built out of. Next, it's on to the interior and the office walls. The rear section of the office is where I'm going to put the cutout for wiring for lights. I next create all of the garage doors and add some windows to them. A lot of tire centers have this slightly raised front facade where they have the words oil and tire center or something similar on there and I went ahead and put this in place. Next it's time to do the detail work on the interior which is something I haven't attached to the base before and hopefully it works out. The details for each bay include a workbench, a tool chest, and a tank of some kind, typically some air or something else that's compressed that you typically see in a shop. I then create the tire rack to go on the side. Next I go to the back and create something that looks similar like a metal panel facade that you'll see on the back of a lot of buildings like this. I actually got the inspiration from this driving around. I wasn't intending to look for inspiration and I just saw it and I was like, I have to include that on my building. I then create the roof and its mounting points. Next, it's time for the signage, which I use the type feature in Tinkercad. I then decide to create half doors, and this is going to be part of the eventual kit that I'm going to sell. I know that sometimes you guys don't necessarily want everything to be closed off, and you want to be able to see in. So I'm creating these half doors in case you want to have the doors partially open. And now I can export it out. 
I bring it in a Chitu box and attach all of the different supports that I'm going to need to print this. And I tilt it as I do usually to make it easier on the print. Okay, so now we have everything designed so that we can start printing. So let's go ahead and start up the printers. Alright everybody, and here is the final product. This is our oil and tire center, and as you can see, it turned out really, really well. Still got a few issues that I'll have to iron out before the final prints, but you can see the detail came out really well. Uh, the modified brake pattern came out really well, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look because I actually had to do a few things differently when it comes to the interior. So, because the big thing we're going to be talking about is the interior. So, let's go ahead and raise the roof off right here. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up. So this is what the interior base is going to come with now. There's going to be no special bases. This is what it's going to come with. Now you'll notice that the interior details that we put on the original thing, they aren't there. And that is because it was very difficult to print the base and those details to my satisfaction. So I decided to make them separate. And this is the uh, strip of workbenches and tool chests. And this is the rack of tires and then as you can see it fits all nice and snug if i lined it up right which i don't think i did so there we go and you can see they're in there and it looks like you're going into a, a normal tire shop right there so that's pretty cool so let's talk about a few other things um we also have the doors this is how the doors are going to come um, when eventually I get this to market, you're going to get three full doors with windows and then you're going to get three half doors and you'll just have to, you may have to use nippers, but you'll break those off and then you'll just glue them in whatever position that you would like. And you can also see that I have the, uh, we'll take the little details out so they don't get beat up too much. You can also see that when I put this thing in place, you still have the alignment pins that are held in relatively neatly. And then you have, you'll notice that this doesn't go all the way to the top where the roof's going to be. That's so that any wiring for lighting can come out of that hole and can go anywhere. So that is the oil and tire center. You can see the detailing right there came out very, very nice. I can go ahead and show you the back as well. So overall, I am extremely, extremely happy with this. So that is the oil and tire center. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Got a few tweaks before I can sell it for real. But now let's get on to building number seven. This is the final building of my first series of buildings. It is another three-story building. I wanted to add a little bit of variety to the three-story buildings. So I designed building number seven. It is slightly wider than building number one. You can see that the entrance, it has four windows on the front instead of three. And also the entrance has a main door and a side door. And also in general, the windows on this side are the same, but the rear windows, it's got the four as well. And um, it's got a little bit of the roof detail, same as before with uh, building one, but um, just a slightly different alternative to building number one. Um, it's gonna cost the same as building number one. so. This is going to be a uh, $10 and $6 for imperfect prints, but I do not have any imperfect prints right now. So that is building number seven on sale right now. That's the completion of my first set of buildings. And I'm going to be doing several more series. I think I may just keep on doing series um, just because they're a lot of fun for me and they're really easy to design for me. And um, what I'm going to do is do some series of maybe some residential buildings, maybe some uh, small industries, um, some other little things that a lot of times you have to scratch build or things that are a bit more difficult to find. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing series of because 3D printing allows me not to have to do big long production runs to make it affordable, which lets me do all these slightly more niche things. 
So that's what's going to be going on. Um, more series of buildings are coming, more custom design buildings that you'll see on the channel. Um, I put a poll up last week on my YouTube community tab um, asking uh, one of three industries to start my three industries designs. So go ahead and go check that poll out. It's on my community tab on my YouTube page. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you're eligible for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway sponsored by Train World. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Until next time, stay safe. I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading. Are you recording? Hey everybody, it's Jimmy. Welcome back everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back everybody. But let's go ahead and get started with the design process. Oh, I messed up. Subscribe to that and you can go right up here. Ugh.